We're debating whether we want to make you video here where I have to talk like this for you to hear me. Or if we go over there where it's a little bit nicer. Five giant strong men here. We can carry a table right over there. Move all that stuff out of the way. Now we gotta carry all the chairs out. So we can sit around. <laughs> oh, oh, probably enough chairs. Nah, this guy's doing physical work. They hate Ooh, it. Oh, I know. You gonna be all right, Josh? No. <laughs> so we're looking at a super secret project. Have we ever done a segment outdoors before? I don't know. I can't remember. Certainly not no, here. I need sunglasses, no. though. We all need those sunglasses. Like, bing, 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 bing. I'm prepared. That would look good. So, we're sitting around a super secret table. It's hexagonal. That's kind of cool. It is, in my opinion, aesthetically pleasing to look at. You build squares, you build rectangles, you build circles. This is none of those. So it's nice to look at. What's everyone's first thoughts? I like it. Yeah. All right, so one for you. Got him. Finish him. Ow. Yeah. Some stain. Get out of here. Yeah. I think it's great. I'm real happy with the form factor as far as the size. I think this will fit a lot of home environments. It didn't get too big. We got ample space between the legs for the regular, this is a, a prophecy chair. This is a pretty good fit. If everybody pulls in to like, sort of like where you're, where you think you would sit comfortably, I'm not into anybody with my knees here. I always sit like this. <laughs> yeah. Now, as I recall from back in like my furniture, production furniture days, 52 was pretty standard and like 60 was kind of yeah. large-ish. Where does this one fall? So flat to flat comes in right around 54 inches, so that would be from this side over to where Kelly's at. Uh, lengthwise, I think is right around 65, 66. Corner to or, corner? Uh, yes. Yep, tip yep. to tip. I believe Duck if we, we can open this up and you can see the vault is, is traditional modular game table vault. We use modular game table armrests, rails. The leg is slightly shaped different, so that'll be a slightly different internal skew to build. It has to be to accommodate hex, but we used as much of our traditional modular yeah, so this profiles is, as we could. Basically, this is just an outgrowth from the sort of modular game table form factors, yep. which is great because that should make it a lot easier for us to develop quickly and, and get going. So as far as the size goes, this actually feels like a pretty good size. Like I can reach the middle of the yep. table um, if I'm doing reach. something. Yeah, I mean, it's great for cards, I think. <laughs> and moderate sized board games. So what so, board games would this be excellent for? <laughs> uh, Ticket to Ride will fit very nicely on here. Great. Oh, I like that game. I played that with my kids. Catan comes in a hex shape to begin with, like so that's true. Yep. it'll actually fit perfectly everybody. And the nice thing about this over like a rectangle is the fact that when you stretch out, because of the footprint of the vault itself, the board fits almost perfectly and you get well into half the center of the table. Here, I want to see, I'm going to take half these toppers off. Yep. I want to see the, all right, so this is, okay. Oh, that's a little awkward. In the model, we do have a packer block that will fill in that space. Okay. Just like we have in the MGT. Yep. It was really a super stupid critical. shape. It kind of is, you're right. <laughs> so you're I didn't, not, you're I didn't not wrong. It. it is a stupid shape, but we'll figure it out. Yes. We're pretty good at stupid. There's space wide enough that you will be able to put all six player desks. So around. player desk does fit here? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I honestly think it's like a better surface area than like the rectangular shapes. Kind of everyone is like equal reach yeah. to stuff. If you're playing a card game even, and you have a draw pile, and the draw pile is usually always in the center of the table, and if you have somebody sitting at the head of a table on a medium or a large table, they're not going to reach that, and you're constantly passing cards. Here, everybody can reach the center of the table. Table is all about equality. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> Doug did ask to see hex table with a round top. So Ed has worked up some mock-ups of that as well. If you want to look at that yet. Let's do it. I can't imagine that it makes it look better. Okay. So it certainly loses its pizzazz in my opinion. Yeah, but it looks way rounder. Yeah. It looks really dumb from over here. Ah, yeah, it fits know. in like a. The other problem is you can't. Yeah. Use any of your accessories. Yep, 
accessory. Well, your nice Something's accessories useless. is not important when you're using your topper. Does anybody think this isn't stupid? Anyone? <laughs> Troy? No. Let's blow it up. All right, you can't win them all. It looks really good though. It is. A very handsome shape. And all just like the geometric forms that we use for MGT just naturally work great on this hex. Tim's going to get high. Hey Tim! <laughs> How are you? Real good. Watch your head! <laughs> Where did the toppers go? Did we get rid of those? Let's put those back on. What is there even to figure out? It's a good start. The only thing better than this table right now is Matt's shirt. It's really get in the sun! <laughs> <laughs> It's a really good shirt. <laughs> Alright. You ready for that? I'm ready. You want to show these? I don't know if you're ready. Jabronis? Wait, what? There's We've, something uh, for me? Super surprise. Know, ready. Wow. Super surprise. We're, We're going to, to a place? Alright, I, I gotta go. Let's go. I gotta go with my Yes. Side. I have no idea what this is. Are we going outside? Do I need to just code? I don't know what the hell's going on. Whoa. Whoa. I Whoa. completely disguised what it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. No! Jordan, this is what you've got to yeah, get. Yeah, you got to get the reaction, Jordan. Jordan, the people. <laughs> you can film the table later. <laughs> the table's not going anywhere. It's over. Perfect. I look like this. I, I don't, this is incredible. <laughs> is this available now? This is going to be in the next Kickstarter. How the hell have you, how did we have time for this? Pennsylvania whipped it out. Turns like, out they just, they just made it extremely, extremely, extremely quickly. Turns out Josh Watson has a lot of free time. <laughs> That's right. And he just kind of, he's like, hey, did you know we can make a hex table out of all the parts that we make regular tables out of? It is it's largely awesome. the same. It but looks the legs great. aren't. The legs aren't. The legs are a different yeah. profile. I think the detailing yep. of the legs is really phenomenal. Like, well, I really love, love the detail of the mm -hmm. logo on it and the fact that the shape of it is like a slice that pivots in toward the, se towards the center. This is so fucking hype. I, I don't even want to let people know about this. <laughs> I mean, the whole, the whole point is to get the hype train going. Oh, get a reaction that. here. Uh, it's an X. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite what we had hoped for. Did you know we were doing this? How are you not freaking out? I freaked out. Yeah, I knew we were doing it. Oh. Well, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we all knew. <laughs> yeah, we, we deliberately just didn't tell you. Like, just don't let nice. Bobby know. We wanted that reaction Jordan yeah. captured, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Hex toppers. Hex what? Toppers. Hex yeah. toppers? Yes, that's do what people, I'm talking about. Do people. Yeah. A rectangular game table. It's like a, that's a very dining room format. This yeah. is very much a kitchen format. That's so awesome. That is so fucking hype. Oh, okay. Look, we were waiting for you to show you this. <laughs> My first question is, how does the topper block work with it? So they're gonna, we are developing a new topper block awesome. that will fit just these. By the way, we're also developing for our old style topper block, a series. Topper block topper. A topper block topper which can come apart and turn into accessories on a table, mm. which is kind of, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. That's cool. So anyway, we now Gorgeous. have a... Yeah, this is great. This is really nice. People are gonna be waiting for this. So it's good though. It's will... super high. It looks gorgeous. I think it's good. Hexagonal table. I think this will be quite popular. I want it. What do you think, Jordan? It's pretty good. <laughs> it's good. Q1. It's good. Q1 2023, get ready. Whoa, whoa. 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 Tabletop so tiles. Funny. Oh wait, no. Wait, what are we filling? Tabletop tiles fill the entire ultimate. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then oh. How many? Have to have people oh, guess. Oh. Oh. How oh, many? How many? Yes. That's great. That is great. Are we talking one layer? No, one layer. No, or no, no, one layer. No. Yeah. No, dude, just stack them up. You don't gotta stack up the whole thing. A, this is essentially a giant party tray, and we yeah, we say true. it can hold fourteen tiles because you can stack them on make top it of each other. We're gonna make a contest. Yeah, we do need to make it harder. That would be very fun if you can guess how many tabletops can fit in. You get the table and all the tabletop tiles. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? What are you yeah. talking about? Since when are we stingy about things? We give away tables all the time. If you can guess without going you, over. Uh, Price is I, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Closest without going over. That would be <laughs> hype as hell. People would be going nuts. It would be so fun. I'm fine with that. That sounds good. All right. Okay. We're done. It's done.